Okay, so this is my first reptile ever. And it happens to be a baby veiled chameleon. There she is. And this is the terranium that I set up for her. Um, I know it's not the best. Everybody wants real plants and all that good stuff, but this is good for now. Until she gets a little bigger and I get her a bigger uh, cage, she's going to have these fake plants. As you can see here, this is the bulb that provides the UVB which is like natural sunlight for the chameleon I leave it on about 12 hours a day um, I have a timer here which it's set from 8 in the morning to about 8 at night uh, this is the little dripper which drips water there you go onto the leaves right there and I catch the water drops in that little rock right there there you go humidity right now is about uh, 75 percent and natural heat in there I don't have a heat light yet because it's just been really hot. Uh, heat is about 86 right now. Uh, let's see. It's my little reptile mister bottle. That's the calcium that I dust the crickets with. And here's a little red light. For night viewing, so you can see what your chameleon is doing at night, and it—I guess it looks like uh, they can't see the red light. It just looks like natural moonlight to them. So, all right, that's my cage. Let's open it up here. There's these little pins that come off here. This. Oh, it's also screen on the uh, the front and the top. Get some ventilation in there. You don't want to use an all glass tank. All right. We got these jungle vines here for the chameleon to climb up and down and around, and uh, this branch here. And there's a little plant in the back. Makes it look like a jungle. I also set up a wallpaper around the two sides of the glass just to make it look like there's a lot more plants in there. But that's just all wallpaper. And uh, some little little worms in a dish. Uh, there's some crickets in there somewhere. They usually hide in the back. Let's see. Yeah. They're out there, unless she ate them all already, but um, there's the chameleon right there. Still scared of me. Probably will hiss. Let's see. No? There you go. Hey, little girl. Calm down. Yeah, there you go. Alright. She's pretty small. She might look big on the video, but she's only about her body from head to uh, without the tail, she's about uh, about the size of my pinky. Which is probably about two and a half inches, three inches. Okay, so that's the setup. 
Uh, the cage is 12 by 12 and uh, 15 inches in height. It's good for now until she gets a little bigger. I'm going to try to get her a pretty big cage that I'll probably build myself. Alright, so there it is. I think this video is way too long now. I probably talked way too much, but it'll be interesting for all new people that are uh, just got their chameleons and want to see other people's setups. So I'll give you one more shot of it. There you go. It's pretty comfy in there. Oh, and that's all the bedding on the floor there. That's, uh, I like it. A lot of people don't like to put it. They say it's messy. Just put a paper towel. But I like it because um, when I mist, it just makes it really humid in there. And it keeps it pretty humid for a while. So and that's just my opinion. But there you go. Later.